Good morning, folks. We've got top science articles in climate and geophysics today, and as always, a look at the sun. We've got space weather enhancements on deck, so let's go to our star, and while we continue to have M-class solar flares, they are slightly on the decline. The active regions produce no more significant CMEs the last day, and so we shift focus to the solar wind. Minor variations have continued to keep our magnetic field in a state of instability, with intermittent geomagnetic storm conditions popping up at some point today. NOAA expects one of the CMEs to arrive from the activity at the Northern Departing Group in previous days, and if it's of any significant impact, we'll go right back into storm conditions. The filament release we saw yesterday morning has been judged by NASA's Enlil Spiral to have a small Earth-directed component, which should arrive tomorrow or Thursday. Eyes on that, while we do continue to monitor the sunspot situation, the Northern Trailing Group is the large one and in focus, but its leading half has all the potential. Magnetic complexity in the larger portions of the front half of the group are where any more significant flaring is likely to take place. We'll have eyes on it. Meanwhile, we go to the claim made in mainstream media the last couple days that Hurricane Ian was the result of climate change. Balderdash. Not only has hurricane season only kicked up from its pitiful start as the sun got active, but on the longer term, there's no upward trend in hurricane activity. This chart comes from Dr. Roy Spencer, who worked for NASA and runs one of the key climate and weather groups in the country. Breakout story today comes as atmospheric forcing of the Earth's rotation is stepping into a greater role of responsibility. They knew it was a factor, but it's a key factor and has predictive power for Earth's speed of rotation greater than was previously believed. This shouldn't surprise many observers since there have been several studies on how solar forcing influences the rotation speed and therefore the length of day, with its primary geophysical impact being to the atmosphere. Another huge factor is geomagnetic variation, and that's the best explanation for why Earth is breaking rotation speed records lately. Did it in 2020, 2021, and again here last year. Like a motor taking in more energy, as Earth's magnetic field fades, it is speeding up its spin. Remember, it's not us that are going to notice these changes, it's the low velocity zone where the crust is locked to the mantle. There are just a couple of tickets left for our October 13th event in Scottsdale, Arizona. Our October 14th event is sold out, and so if you want to hang out and meet other observers, follow the link below to get your tickets for the event. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about the Earth's rotation changes and how it relates to the ongoing geomagnetic and solar changes with our playlists and books found in the description box below the video. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.